This is why my life was a mess. I hit rock bottom both emotionally, romantically and financially in my 20s after a breakup and losing a job opportunity. The future looked bleak until I tapped into a mindset called lucky girl syndrome. This philosophy flipped my perspective from lack to abundance. Defining your idea of what luck is. A lot of people think that luck is a random series of events or it's random chance, but a lot of the time it can be what we manifest. Luck can be things that we've actually done that's put us in the right places at the right time and everything synchronistically lines up. And because we're in the right place at the right time and we're doing the right things means that we can just become extremely lucky because of the circumstances that we've put ourselves in. So redefining luck, really just tweaking our mindset and just, instead of thinking of it as something that randomly happens to us, is something that we have a little bit more control over than we actually believe that we do have. My second tip is gratitude. And I know that everyone says the same thing. I know you're probably tired to death of it, but gratitude really is important and it really does work because it really just transforms the way that you're thinking and your mindset. It gets your brain in a totally different way and it just gets your mindset in a completely different brainwave, you know, just, thinking about the little things, even if they're really tiny, like I will just think of a few things every single day that I'm grateful for. Like even today it's sunny, so I'm grateful for the beautiful weather today. I'm grateful for the lunch that I ate today because it was really delicious and I'm thankful that I was able to have that food. And even though those little things that are just everyday things, if we just find gratitude in them, we can enjoy our lives more, we can feel better in our mindset and our perspective of life as well. And not only that, that also brings more luck into our lives because we feel more lucky because we're grateful for all the different things, all the little things around. My third tip is to set powerful intentions. So what I mean by that is actually sit down and say your intentions out loud. And I know that sounds crazy, but hear me out. I love saying my intentions out, especially when I say intentions like I am and I have. Setting an intention and saying it as it is right now. And that is such a powerful way to set an intention and when you set intentions, you intentionally bring luck into your life because whatever you want to be lucky for, whatever you want to have, you can say, I am and I have, and just really trick your brain and trick your mindset into believing that it's real. And I think that is just one of the key steps. Tip four is visualizing your ideal life. Now, I absolutely love this because I am someone with a huge, vivid imagination. Just visualizing your goals, visualizing all the luck and all the great things that you want to happen to you is so, so, so powerful. And I love doing it every single day. And one of the best times to actually do this is before you go to sleep at night. So when you lay down, and just close your eyes it's a great time to really visualize and imagine because when you go into your sleep you're going into your, your subconscious mind it's getting cemented into your dreams even if you wake up and you can't remember your dreams because you've been thinking about that visualization you're more and more just locking it in and locking in that luck right before you go to bed so that's something that i always practice and i always visualize everything that I love, everything that I want to happen. And my fifth tip is to take aligned action. Luck rewards action. So a lot of times, many people like to wish and they like to think about everything. And they like to do all the visualization, but it does take a little bit of action. It takes a little bit of steps towards your goals, step towards whatever you want to do in life. So for me, that meant freelancing because it gave me a little bit more autonomy over my life and a little bit more 
time freedom and flexibility with my work-life balance that because I took those aligned steps to slowly work my way from a traditional job to a freelancing role and that was my kind of goal of aligned action and if you're someone who doesn't want to have to try and figure out how to take aligned action from scratch let me help you Click the link in the description so that you can download my holistic wellness digital journal. It has a goal setting template in it. And not only that, it also helps with journaling and habit tracking as well. So it's just like a all over holistic wellness, health and wellness journal that I created for myself, but I thought I'd like let other people be able to use it as well because it has been really transformational for myself. So my next tip is to trust in serendipity. When one door closes, another one opens. And a lot of times we have a vision for ourselves that we want to do this and we want to do that and we're just trying to force it one way and not really going with the flow. And a lot of times some things are just not for us. Some things are not for us, but something else that is similar and even better or better suited for us is for us. So if one door closes, another one will open. So you don't need to force it and just embrace going with the flow. And by doing that, by going with the flow, that's one way that you can bring luck into your life and actually accept the blessings that come into your life. Lesson seven is embrace generosity. I give to others without expecting anything back. I go out and I spend time, sometimes litter picking on the streets and just taking up the rubbish that has been just, people have just thrown there. I donate to people, I give people words of encouragement without expecting anything back for myself. And I think that's so important. I don't expect to receive anything or a medal or, but it makes me feel good by being generous. And I think when you give generously, you receive back naturally without having to expect something back. It just happens naturally. And that's another way that you can start attracting more luck into your life. So accept openness, have an attitude of acceptance and openness. And what this means is be open to receiving generosity as well as giving generosity, be open to receiving generosity. You know, if someone pays you a compliment, say thank you. Don't be like, oh no, no. You know, try and be shy and try to brush it off. If someone gives you something or offers you something, be open to receiving that gift. It's so important to be able to give and also receive at the same time and not be shy to receive gifts, not be shy to receive compliments. And that is one part of receiving luck. You know, receiving luck is receiving compliments, it's receiving gifts and it's receiving help from others as well. My next tip is treating yourself. One of the ways that I add more joy into my life is by doing little things, gifting myself little things and enjoying and indulging in life. So that means getting flowers. It might mean going to get a massage. It could also mean having some chocolate or a cake or baking some bread. And all of these things bring me joy in my life. It makes me feel incredibly lucky. And by treating yourself and indulging in things that you actually enjoy, that makes you feel joyful, it makes you feel happy, and it makes you feel like a lucky person. I feel so lucky when I get to enjoy some chocolate. I feel so lucky when I get to enjoy beautiful flowers in my home. I feel so lucky when I get to enjoy a wonderfully freshly baked loaf of bread. And all of these things are things that make me feel lucky. They may be different for you, but try to indulge in those things that make you feel lucky, that make you feel joy. And just by treating yourself and being kind to yourself and showing yourself self-love and self-compassion can be so, so helpful for giving you that lucky girl effect. By focusing on good things instead of lack, I became a magnet for serendipity. Taking inspired action and being open to receiving really allowed me to step into my luck. Of course, my life still has its ups and downs, but I no longer let 
my life get derailed by the upsets and I just look to the positives and that makes me feel incredibly lucky and to continue to live a lucky girl lifestyle. So far in this video, I've shared how to tap into your lucky girl syndrome, but I haven't shared how to reinvent your life. If you want to reinvent your life, check out this video next where I share 24 tips on how to reinvent your life.